Hey Aquarius, welcome to August 2018. I'm so sorry with how late these videos are being uploaded. Um, I should, I do have an excuse though, okay? So I recorded all these videos and then sure enough with this retrograde season, I lost three readings and the three readings were Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. So I do apologize um, and I am going to explain what that retrograde season means, an eclipse season. Um, essentially what it means is we have five planets Right now, five out of 12, well, 10, sorry, five planets um, that are, they seem like they're moving backwards, but they've actually stopped moving completely. And what that does is it, it messes with us down here, as all the planets do. And it actually is forcing us to go inward when it comes to the energy of those specific planets. Uh, so we have Mercury, Mars, Neptune, Saturn, and Pluto. So Mercury is the planet of communication, short distance travel, your environment, your siblings. Mars is the planet of energy, desire, will, passion, um, you know, fighting, but also sex. <laughs> uh, then we have Neptune, and that's the planet of creation, dreams, your subconscious mind, uh, haze, disillusion. Then we have Saturn, and Saturn is our authority, our organization, um, our seriousness, our reputation, our careers, our, our work. Um, yeah, and then we have Pluto, and that's a planet of transformations, life or death, um, you know, all that, all that good stuff. So when those planets are retrograde, all that energy is now internalized and pretty much it'll all be internalized until September. And so what that means, Aquarius, is don't do anything. Do nothing. <laughs> don't sign anything. Don't start anything. Don't even start conversations that you know could have, um, a negative effect on you. So really this is a month to just chill okay the cards that popped out aquarius uh, also because that lunar eclipse was in aquarius so that lunar eclipse was absolutely affecting the aquarian energy and what it was asking you to do was just release that uh, eclipse energy is eclipsing out what is no longer serving us anymore uh so it's really just saying to just let go um and to actually expect more than I wish I'd give you an example, but I won't give you the example that I use, but let's just say it was a really big release and I asked for it first and got two of it, okay? So really just expect the best, expect that this uh, eclipse season is going to give you what you need to release what is no longer serving you, um, and it will be the cultivation of um, what happened last August during the last eclipse uh, lunar and solar eclipse that was in Leo and in, in, in Aquarius. So now this August, July um, eclipse is pushing out what started last eclipse, okay? And then the cards that popped out for Aquarius for August 2018 is the Seven of Swords. So somebody really taking up a lot of your thought power, a lot of your energy when it comes to what you're thinking. And then we have the Nine of Swords. So because of that, you're really not sleeping well. Um, you have high anxiety, inner conflict, uh, can't silence your mind, can't shut it off. That's that Mercury retrograde energy, just forcing us to revisit things that we turned ourselves away from. So revisiting the things that we said, no, we don't need it. And then we have the Six of Cups, which is all about emotional strength and your emotional responsibilities, giving giving yourself endlessly to your family and friends, doing your domestic duties. Then we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Hierophant. So what your subconscious wants you to know, Aquarius, for August 2018, is although something or somebody or some situation is taking up all your thought process, making it very hard to sleep, you've been putting a lot of your emotional energy back to the Queen of Pentacles, as usual, Queen of Pentacles, and what this what this month is doing is it's creating a spiritual change. You are being changed spiritually on a very spirit level. Your soul is changing because something, someone, um, or some place has ignited your soul purpose, your life's and your soul's purpose. And that's what this month is going to be all about is walking that path because it's been ignited. Okay. That whoever it was that was taking up all your thoughts and you couldn't sleep and this queen of pentacles, you just want to keep giving and giving and giving. This has created 
the space for something, person, place, some energy to come in and create a change for you guys, okay? And it's a spiritual change. So something that you may not see manifested in your physical world, but you're, oh, you're definitely feeling it on the inside. Okay. So Aquarius, August 2018. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So it's what your subconscious wants you to know right off the bat. Now the theme of this reading, Aquarius, is how overburdened of responsibilities you have, how hard you've been working, how much you're fighting just for the past. You just wish that all this would be done and gone. You're like, I'm so overburdened with responsibilities. I'm putting out so much energy when it comes to the Queen of Pentacles, when it comes to my heart and my love. I just want this to end. I just want it to be like how it used to be. But it doesn't work like that. It does not work like that. This is what's needed in order to create everything being perfectly fine. You have a lot of opportunities for success. You have a lot of support as well, especially from this King of Pentacles. This um, Earth type sign who's masculine and has older energy than you, so an older soul. Um, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo energy. And what you're putting out there when it comes to this relationship will be positive in the long run. But right now, you just don't know what what what's happening with it. So you're just kind of really not doing anything. And you're just focusing on what you've built so far and making sure that your heart is in the proper place in order for you to take this leap of faith uh, with your soulmate and create an inner shift where you guys are just happy and married and manifesting wealth and not worried about any negativity and you're in an emotional proper place, okay? That's the theme of the reading, Aquarius. Now, the actual reading is about your investments. You guys are working so hard, and it's time now to take what you've earned, what you've gained, what you've um, what you've uh, earned, learned, earned, and gained, um, and start to really get clear about what you want to do with that, how you want to invest that energy back um, into the community, back into yourself, back into your family, what you want to do with what you've accomplished so far. Because right now, you're pulling in all this energy in, but it's not going anywhere. You have to put it back out in order for it to come back threefold. So where are you going to invest that energy, all that success that you've gained so far? Where are you going to put it out? The obstacle and the aid when it comes to that Aquarius is this rebirth, is this transformation that you're going through, especially this month. So this transformation that you're going through will absolutely affect the investments that you want to partake in, but it will also hinder the investments you want to partake in. For instance, you're not the same person you were even just yesterday. So the investments that you were thinking of making yesterday, where you want to put your energy yesterday, is not where you want to put it today. Every single day you transform and you require new things, new energy, new excitement, and new places to invest your energy. So that is your obstacle and your aid. Subconsciously, Aquarius, you are working from a neg from a negative space, a negative space of greed, of power hoarding. You have all this power. You know where you need to invest it. You've transformed so much, but subconsciously, your subconscious wants you to hold on to it. It's like hoard it. Don't move. Be greedy. But you're thinking, I'm feeling so powerless right now. I'm feeling so torn and pulled in all these different directions that I need to let go of some of this power. I need to let go of some of this energy and dis and distribute it. But your subconscious is like, no, Aquarius, hold on. Don't do it. Okay? Let's see. You right now have a lot of strength. So although your subconscious is telling you to hold on to your power, I think that's the reason why. Your subconscious is like, hold on to your power because it's strengthening you. Something's about to happen, Aquarius. Something's about to pop off. I think it's coming in September, and I think that you need to be holding on to your power while you can. Invest in the smart places where you know for sure you'll get a good return on investment. But as it stands right now, and I'm not talking about necessarily financially, I'm talking about your emotional investment as well. So right now, your subconscious is like, hold on to your power, and that is strengthening you. That is giving you all the strength that you need for this, whatever is going to happen. I feel like it's a volcano. I just see a volcano erupting come uh, September, come the next three to six months, okay? Family and friends, they see your reputation. They admire what you've been doing. They definitely respect you a little bit more now. They see um, the, re the reflection that you're putting out there is a lot more clean cut and more acceptable than before the Aquarius energy you guys you know you you want to be special you want to be unique so a lot of times that makes other people feel uneasy because they're like whoa you know I was just watching um this thing on YouTube actually where an astrologer 
had to guess people's signs. And it's funny because he didn't guess the Aquarius. The Aquarius he guessed as a Scorpio. And the Aquarius was the first one. I'm like, it is so obvious that guy's an Aquarius. He had like funky hair and was wearing like something different. He was wearing a tail. Like he just looked so out of the ordinary where I felt like it should have been a surefire, maybe his Scorpio rising or something like that. But he was so truly an Aquarius. And it's funny because when the guy labeled him a uh, Scorpio and was wrong about it, the Aquarius, you see a little smile because they don't want to be found out that they worked hard to be different. They worked hard to be unique. They don't want it to be found out. They want it to be a natural, that person is different and special. So your family and friends are starting to see that specialness in you, that uniqueness in you, that, um, that quality that is priceless and invaluable and different and unique and not like what other people have. Family and friends are finally starting to see that. Your hope and your fear, Aquarius, is for something new, is for some new energy. You want it because you know that the newness that does come in will be positive, but you're fearing it because it's a lot and it's going to come from out of absolutely nowhere. So that's where that fear is coming from. Like, what is this really going to mean for my life? Okay, so this is a very short reading. <laughs> First step, Aquarius, is to recognize that you're powerless to your situation right now. You really don't have much control or authority over what's going on. But what you can do, Aquarius, is you can take the power that you gain and invest it on your own in areas that will return on investment, give you back something uh, threefold. Because in certain areas, and you know the areas I'm talking about, pretty much general generalization is that you're very powerless right now. Uh, you can't really make any big movements, but you can focus on the rebirth process that you're going through right now. You can focus on the power that you've gained so far, um, and you can invest it in the areas that you feel comfortable with, and that will give you a new sense of power. So this is the first step. Second step, you're going to recognize that the power that you need to invest in is within your family, within your home and family. Starting something new there, a new from a mind, new energy, new love, new um, new something when it comes to family and friends, new house, new area, new environment, just whatever you can do to take the power that you have, that little power that you still feel like you have control of, and invest it into the family and give them the power to empower you back. So by putting that energy into your, into your family, it will create this huge shift and then family will start to empower you and you're going to start to see that new beginning, that new message come in that you hope for, but that you also fear as well. Okay, that's all I have for you, Aquarius. Remember, this is your season. This is eclipse season, um, lunar eclipse and Aquarius. Don't resist. If something is trying to be released from your life, just let it go. Just let it go. Even if it's just a frame of mind. You know, for instance, I realize I'm like, I'm going on 10 years now feeling the same way about someone who's completely changed. I'm going on 10 years gossiping about someone that has actually proven over the 10 years to be a really great person. So letting go of those old habits, those old ideas, those old beliefs, and empowering yourself in a good way. Um, as always, please comment, like, subscribe, and share. And if you'd like a personalized reading, uh, my email address is below. Um, but yeah, I want to show you the baby. <laughs> Fifi, you want to say hi to the Aquariuses? You want to say hi to the Aquariuses? Hi. Oh, she's big and heavy now. She's big and heavy. <laughs> say hi, Phoenix. Say hi, Phoenix. <laughs> okay, love you, Aquariuses, so much. This is your this is your gift for being so late with the videos. I do apologize. Uh, love you guys so much. I hope you have an amazing August, and I will see you in September. Bye, guys. Fifi, say bye. Say bye. <laughs> bye, guys.